Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I want to show you how to build a water reserve for your five gallon containers out of a one gallon milk jug. In this case it's a water jug, but the point is, is that you can buy this for 89 cents so you can get the materials pretty cheaply. You know, reuse your milk containers, your juice containers. You're going to need a, a bucket. These buckets are uh, food safe. They were about five dollars, but you can get them for free if you go to uh, places like McDonald's. Um, any restaurant, bakeries, they will give these buckets to you. So the materials aren't that expensive. The PVC pipe, you're going to need at least an 18 inch piece with a width of about an inch so that you can pour water into there. These, if you just buy it this size, it's about two bucks, but you can buy these in eight foot sections and they're a lot less expensive. Now, why would you want a water reserve? Well, in a five gallon container, when you're growing tomatoes, you're growing peppers, you're growing bush zucchini, squash, they're going to suck the life and the water out of these containers very, very quickly. And on the hot days, late June, July, even if you water this in the morning, you go away, by the time the, the uh, evening comes and you get back, the plants could have taken all the water out. So you have to be the best judge of what you need container size. Now, how do you build this? It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you um, the build right here in real time so you can see how quick it is. But here's one example. You basically just cut the top of the milk container off, insert the PVC pipe. In this case, I just put slits in here and the root systems would find their way down there. You can do that. I'm going to build this one with a piece of towel using it as a wick. And this would just sit in here, fill it up with your materials, and you would water from up here. You would also water the top of your soil, but then you would also fill up the reserve by just filling the uh, gallon container up through the PVC pipe. Now, I'll put a link in, but I have a lot of videos. One thing you want to do with the five gallon containers is come up about an inch and then put a hole in here. So here's a technical redo as I took the bucket out of the, uh, the frame of the camera. But what you want to do is come up about one inch, two inches from the bottom of the container and put a hole in there. And what that does is this one lets water drain out, so your bucket's not going to fill up with water. If that happened, it's going to rot out your roots, your plants are going to die. But by putting the hole here, you let water fill up here, that's not going to damage your roots, that'll be a little bit of a water reserve. And then you just go ahead and put a hole in here and the excess water will drain out when it rains or when you water. The other trick that I was talking about too is filling up the bottom with shredded hardwood and a shredded hardwood would just go down into here up to the hole and that itself is going to hold water. And the whole principle behind growing plants in five gallon buckets is, is you want to make sure you can maintain moisture for your plants because again I'll say it a couple of times if the bucket runs out of water if the plant takes all the water out of the soil just one time it's going to damage your plant it's going to damage its health its growth and its production now when you build this it's just going to sit on top of the wood chips if you use that or you can drop it all the way down to the bottom put in your wood chips and then you put in your soil and then you put in your plant real easy to make an 18 inch piece of PVC pipe or any kind of pipe that you want to use you just cut a hole into the milk container. Now in this case you could get a marker and you can mark it around if you want to be exact but I know you just have to cut the top off of the gallon container. Let me dump out some of the water. Now of course don't waste water if you don't have to. And you would just trim this up enough that the PVC pipe can get in there. And that should work. You might have to press it in. Oh, one more tip is when you cut the bottom, cut it on a little bit of an angle because you don't want the pipe to sit flush on the bottom because it may interfere with the water being able to drain out. If you do it this way, there's going to be cracks. It's going to be uneven. Let's see if we can do this. If it doesn't open, just cut a slit just like that. And it should open and take the pipe. There you go. So that will set up the system. So every time you fill this with water, obviously you see the gallon is going to fill up. It's going to hold the water. And if you have slits in there, the root system will get in there. 
The other way to do it is to get a piece of cotton or synthetic cloth. Cotton will rot over a year so you're going to have to replace it but this is going to be your wick and we're going to drop this into the container and it will wick the water up to here. This will be on the outside. Your soil mix will be leaning on here and the water will get into your soil mix. The roots will also grow into this too. And you can do this by really getting a spoon with a round handle and just push it down. And you want to push it down until it gets down to the bottom. And that's going to create the wick. And make sure it comes all the way down to the bottom. And then it would sit right in your container just like this. It's going to wick the water into your system and you can fill it whenever you need to. Now, if you're concerned about insects, a plastic bag over the top and a rubber band will keep the mosquitoes and different things from getting in there. So this is all you need to do to build a water reserve in a five gallon container. This is great for the hot days of summer come mid-July when a plant can actually take all the water out of a container that you just watered in the morning but by the late afternoon the heat the size of the plant has pulled all the water out. And you can see already how the water is wicked into the towel. So this will slowly pull the water out of the gallon container and put it into your plant and it just gives you that extra reserve. And you can see that you're sacrificing some soil space for the container or for the water and that's your judgment. Based on what you're growing in here you can decide if you're going to need to put in something like this. But I want, just wanted to give you the principles of how to build it because it's so simple you don't need to spend a lot of money to go buy uh, double buckets, uh, plastic inserts, or anything like that. You can really build it. 98 cents for the container, about two bucks for the PVC, and this is 18 inches high. You can even cut off another four inches or so. And the, and the container, which will be anywhere from three to five dollars. You can almost get this whole system if you get some stuff for free for under five bucks. And you hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some idea of how you could build a one gallon uh, water reserve and use it in your five gallon containers, your 10 gallon containers, and we'll get to the bigger one in the next video. Please check out my seed and garden shop at www.therustedgarden.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.